Hello everyone, my name is Crystal. I am back with a new video. Hi guys, welcome back. Hope you guys are doing great. Today's video, guys, I got my hands on the Edu House Fixing Tin Bars. I have three shades with me out of the five. I didn't want to buy all of them because I didn't want to commit to the full color range, I guess. I'm currently wearing one shade right now. I'm currently wearing number four, Coral Rose. I have two other shades with me. I have number three, Milk Caramel, and number five, Mid uh, not Midnight Moth. I got confused with the Fixing Tin. <laughs> number five, Moth Pink. So this is Coral Rose. If you guys have been on my channel, you know I don't really like coral But at the same time, I don't see much coral on my lips What do you guys think? I, I did cut my hair as well, I cut back to bangs We're back with a bang Basically, the hairstylist was saying like Oh, your center parting is pretty obvious because you keep tying your hair back I'm like, okay, let's go back to bangs and like kind of fix it a little bit Because I don't want to have a receding hairline that often So yeah, that's great, wonderful. I will be doing live swatches and comparing it color-wise as well to the current lineup of the OG liquid lipsticks from At Your House, TikTok Viral, the Fixing Tints. I have all the colors. You get 3.2 grams worth of product and it's about 12 US dollars on YesStyle. It is currently available and it's rather new so you can go check that out. Also, if you'd like to save some money, uh, you can use my code it's Crystal for some money off. Of course, it is a commission code. So I do get a small kickback out of it But if you watch it till the end And you will choose to support me and use my code Thank you so much I truly appreciate it And if you're not comfortable doing that It is totally okay You watching the video Good enough So thank you so much regardless for your support And without further ado Let's get into the video about the packaging first personally i am a huge fan of the packaging actually aside from the actual like component itself the way that it was packaged when it's first like delivered is actually given in a plastic bag like this and it's actually sealed so there's no one who will actually you know like open up the lipstick swatch it and everything you know because there are times where these type of things happen in today's climate i mean hygiene is very very important i don't think i've seen any other korean green brand did something like this aside from maybe I think Tony Mole or Holika Holika I can't really remember which one who did the Samyam collaboration where the makeup was packaged in actual Samyam packaging yes that one I remember that that was cute that's super cute the actual lipstick itself feels quite weighty and luxe for what it is it has a soft matte touch packaging quite similar to the OG liquid lipstick which is soft matte body as well it's a bit of like a see-through kind of thing so it's also pink and it looks girly but quite modern at the same time it also has a very secure uh, lock and pull kind of thing it's quite secure so you don't have to worry about like throwing it into your bag and then it comes apart that kind of stuff for me personally from what i experienced so far it didn't really happen like that however one thing i don't like about the packaging is that the name of the actual lip shade is on the the tube part over here so you can see remember this mauve pink so you don't know what exact shade this is until you look onto the body of this so you know okay this is mauve pink for example and if you own maybe two anytime like two or more shades and if you're in a rush and then maybe you switch caps or whatever then you don't know what exact shade you're using so for me personally when i was doing swatches earlier i got a little bit confused i was like oh crap which one is which right now and luckily i swatched it accordingly like numeratically so i knew which is which but other than that i would be like oh i don't know which one is which really if you're sensitive to smell this does have a fragrance slightly stronger even compared to the liquid uh, fixing tints this has a rather strong floral smell i'm actually smelling more of the candle in the back right now <laughs> From what I remember, this has a quite a strong floral, I think a bit of like lychee almost, a little bit. So yeah, that's one thing to take note if you're sensitive to smell. Now the juicy part, the formula itself. Etude House described this as a hydro matte tint lipstick that fixes colour comfortably on the lips. And hmm, I have thoughts. This reminds me of the NARS matte lip balm thing that was quite pigmented. These lipsticks are not super pigmented. Don't get me wrong, there definitely is colour. However, I would say I still can see my natural lip colour peeking through. They are very, very buildable as well. Your first swipe is really a barely there colour. You really need to go in with your second, third or maybe even fourth layer. Then you'll get a very pigmented lip. This one is probably a third layer-ish, almost. When I purse my lips right now, it feels kind of 
like grippy almost like I feel there's something there but it's rather lightweight at the same time however when I do this right there is no product like bunching up on my lips at all which is good however when you eat everything comes off when you take a tissue paper blot it off rub it off everything is gone I'm looking at swatches right now on my phone and I feel like they kind of up the saturation in the pictures and then when I swatched it in real life, it was not like that. The swatches that is being provided, it is super saturated. I really don't like that and I, uh, I just feel very cheated. That's what I'm gonna say. Hello, Editing Crystal here. I'm gonna do a quick three-day wear test with you guys. So on day one, I went to eat pancakes and pasta. So this is what was left behind my lips. As you can see, there's a little bit of lipstick running down my chin, a little bit of remnants and I was a little bit disappointed with what was on my mask because, you know, when I think of fixing tints, fixing tints are known to not leave a single stain at all and this is a fixing tint. So I was a bit disappointed to see some staining on my mask. I decided to wear coral rose and this was about one hour in of wear. This is how it looks like. It was a very hot day so I had some like moustache sweat on my moustache area. I think because coral rose has more pigment to it and I mean there wasn't really much transfer as you can see on my mask. It's a little bit but not as much as it was on the first day. As you can see coral rose actually looks really pretty and before lunch it still looks quite presentable. Really on my lips but better but the moment after having lunch almost everything came off. You can see some product around the edges of my lips and yeah the lighting wasn't the best but eventually when I went back to office I didn't reapply it until 3 p.m so at this point it's like my bare natural lips when it comes to reapplication there really wasn't much of a hassle there wasn't any product uh, balling up on my lips or peeling or none of that no clinging to dry patches so I think that's a really good thing about this uh, formula overall I'm just kind of disappointed that it's not as mask proof as the original liquid lipsticks don't get me wrong they are very very comfortable and I guess they fade into a rather natural lip color almost but sometimes it's almost barely is there really anything on my lips that kind of thing so if you're going for that vibe I guess you can check these lipsticks out but they really must suit a particular taste I guess day 3 wasn't anything special I'm wearing milk caramel over here but milk caramel alone by itself it kind of looks washed out almost I guess I can pull it off but I think I will like something that is tonally a little bit deeper uh, and I didn't really check in until the end of the day because I was kind of busy on day 3 so this is how at the end of the day it looks like there's still a little bit of colour to it and it's very very natural uh, there wasn't much transfers as compared to day 1 so maybe day 1 was a fluke for some reason I guess the general gist of this lipstick is uh, is she wearing anything? Alright I've taken off coral rose and this is how my bare natural lips look like I look very tired look very did almost. Let's start off with number 3, Milk Caramel. I'll go in with one layer first. Yeah, I kind of like that's two layers but do you see how just one run through of it? Barely anything is on the lips right now. So that means you have to really build up the colour as well. This is personally too little colour for me. I need more colour, not look super tired so I'm gonna go in with my second run through. I think that this will be a good base lip shade and then if you had slightly brighter or deeper colours and then you want to do a little gradient lip, I think that will be nice to add it around here. So for Milk Caramel, the closest shade will be Ginger Milk Tea. So these two shades are probably the closest to one another. However, I feel that Milk Caramel right now has a lot of peachiness, a bit more white pigment in it as compared to Ginger Milk Tea. Ginger Milk Tea has more yellow colour in it so it looks a little bit more yellow brown. This is Milk Caramel The Bar lipstick and this is the Fixing Tint Ginger Milk Tea. As you can see they are quite different despite having um, milk in the name. Also you can see that Ginger Milk Tea is significantly uh, tonally darker as compared to this uh, Milk Caramel. Just for fun, I just want to add a little bit of the Ginger Milk Tea in the inner lip a little bit. Oh, they actually melt together quite well. Oh, it's a cute look. Hmm, okay. A little blotting test. It's gonna be a little bit inaccurate since I have the fixing tin, but just gonna show you guys. You can see, there's a little bit of transfer going on right now. I think it's because of the lipstick itself because if I do this for the fixing tin, nothing really comes off honestly. So I'm quite 
I'm pretty sure that the lipstick is causing it to transfer quite a bit as you can see. Next up is the shade that I was wearing just now, Coral Rose. So first layer or first run, let's go. So this is how Coral Rose looks like on me and you can tell that it's a little bit more pigmented compared to uh, Milk Caramel but still on the sheer side of things for one layer. If you've been on my channel, you know I don't really like corals on me personally, especially on my lips. I'm a bit like, no, no, I don't like it. But surprisingly enough, this is a rather wearable coral for me. Honestly, do you guys even think this is coral? Because I think this is a little bit more rose leaning, which of course the name suggests. Uh, but still, coral wear. Coral wear. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, second layer. Let's go. Second run through all the coral rose, and this is how it looks like. Mm. This is a very, very pretty colour. A little bit on the brighter side of things. Across the board, I feel that all three shades are a little bit more on the brighter side of things. So, this definitely adds some brightness to my face. I don't look so tired for sure and I really, really like that. And the closest shade for this one would be number one Analog Rose. Both have the name Rose in it. So, little comparison swatch. As you can see, Analog Rose is more on the red side of things. Think of like a rose but not a deep dark rose but a brighter spring kind of rose. This is more of a pink rose, I would say. I felt like the Fixing Tint bars in general were kind of like a sheer down version of the liquid lipstick itself. So if you don't enjoy uh, very intense colours on your lips, you find it's too bright because I know some friends of mine, they don't like very intense liquid lipstick, they find it's too overwhelming, then I think you will enjoy the Fixing Tint bars. Uh, just for comparisons, they're not really that close as compared to these two, but I do have Rose Blending number 11 and number 2 Vintage Red because I did mention before that Vintage Rich is quite close to Analog Rose and well, Rose Blending because there's a Coral Rose and you know, Rose in there. You can see that Rose Blending number 11 leans very pinkish purple, very very different. And lastly, I'm gonna swatch Vintage Red on the top over here. Not gonna lie, I'm getting confused with all the different shade names so excuse me if I said anything wrong, alright? It's quite a similar vibe but just I guess a redder version. Uh, so yeah, a little comparison. Alright, the last colour that we've got is Mauve Pink. We're gonna go in with one layer as per usual. So this is how Mauve Pink looks like on me, one layer. You can see that it's definitely a neutral, leaning, cool tone lip colour. And personally, I think I still can wear this shade. I won't be afraid to wear this shade out. Yeah, this is the shade I wore out yesterday. I mean, my look was slightly more on the cooler side of things. But this, very pretty daily lip colour. Alright, let's go in with one more layer. Alright, so this is the second layer of Morph Pink. This is how it looks like. I really like this a lot. This is probably one of my favourite colours, surprisingly enough. I thought that this would be just like a eh shade. Leans a little bit closer to my natural lip colour, almost. So I think this is a super wearable shade. I think you can wear this with many different looks as well. And the comparison to this will actually be surprisingly enough the number 5 as well, Midnight Morph. This very very popular one that everybody went head over heels for. This is how Morph Pink looks like and personally for me, I don't really like pinks on me in general. Like as a bag, as shoes, cute. But I don't wear tops that are pink or pants that are pink makeup that's pink. I don't really like that. But bags, shoes, I'm quite okay with it for some reason. I don't know why. And we have Midnight Mauve over here as well. As you can tell, this is definitely going to be much more pigmented. Uh, but this is definitely more true pink leaning almost. However, Midnight Mauve itself, you can see there's a little bit more of that salmon reddish in it. So it doesn't really look that pink as compared to this. It is quite a bit of a difference. Another colour that I want to swatch for you guys, wait where is it? Um, Smoky Cherry. Smoky Cherry is like a pink, correct? But if you guys have watched my previous video, you know I don't like Smoky Cherry. I just want to show you guys how it looks like. You can see how stark and bright it is as compared to the mauve pink. So 
very very different ballparks very different tones of pink in general so are you picking up the fixing tin bars let me know your thoughts do you like it hate it you're like mm, crystal is a bit mm -mm, you know okay, i don't really care for it let me know as well i love talking to you guys and if you're ever considering between the fixing tin liquid lipsticks or the fixing tin bars i'll be honest go for the liquid lipsticks i think that one is still the best because it's quite solid it's mask proof of course that liquid lipstick you have to reapply after eating but it doesn't patch up or whatsoever this doesn't patch up it's just the whole aspect of not it being mask proof i don't really like it granted it is a very comfortable matte lipstick but then if it's matte you wouldn't want it to transfer that much but if you're looking for a matte lipstick that is comfortable and hydrating on the lips then i think you should check this out otherwise i think we can wait for another viral liquid lipstick to go viral one more time and i can check it out again i really should just buy one piece of lipstick in the future and like not buy like three because now i have three of these sitting around if you found this video helpful please remember to leave a like down below also to subscribe and i'd love to see you around also to ring the bell the bell keeps you notified on when i upload i usually upload on fridays so we can keep a look out for that as well and yeah i will see you guys in my next video stay safe bye bye <laughs>